My earliest memories of music are actually like uh, waking up in my grandmother's room to hear the sounds of Kakeku number no. two or Pabubu playing on her ghetto blaster or just, you know, running around the house, my cousins or my uncles playing Shaggy's Bombastic or something from Lucky Dube. And when my cousin brought home uh, Braffo's Paimoka, I absolutely fell in love with the song Aden and it made me want to write my own music. So for years, when people will ask me why I do music, I will say, oh, Braffos, I dance, the reason I do music, that's why I do music. Until I heard a man sound line in his song, Anna, where he says, they say that this won't take us to the Grammys and the Oscars, but Sean, the Oscars and the Grammys, this is for my brothers. As soon as I heard those lines, I knew, I knew this is why I made music. So when, there, when uh, I want you to cut to the last, uh, she's the kind of girl I don't wanna give up on. Yeah. Yeah, so cut that part. You see the, the jam, you're, you're, the groove you're going with? We'll just, after the hook plays, keep it going for me. i just do a bunch of things over there. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, doctor, oh, oh, patience. A friendly baby, your mommy daycare. She has a heart of gold, she loves cape hair. On phobia, like house of folk. The way I turn her today. Say anytime, yeah, she day. No matter the time of the day, daytime, nighttime, break time, she go make time. Anytime she give me her time, go be waste, then I say, Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. So the punch, if we break out, we send the comeback hard. Yes, well, that's what it's saying now. Hey. For how long? Because I sound. Ah, no, so, so from, from that point on, you can just let it go. Or you still need it to keep the timing. Oh, yeah. Because that's what Groove made it. If you want to make it rehearse, then. Yeah, then see, yeah. From that point on, it's. Extension now, so that's. cool. No, the problem is it's a thing I'm doing with the crowd, so it depends on yes. Uh -huh. So you can just let it ride. And yes, I be <laughs> I, no, no, I mean, I heard she played it for me. Oh, she played it for you? Yeah. It was good, eh? Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. I'm, I'm feeling the growth of the. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. That's, that's my guy. To accept. We go from weddings to digging pits. You were supposed to gray. And for my kids to call you uncle, feel like I fumbled. My chance to let you know, Senya Medoro, humbled, stressed, learning to live with that regrets. Every time you wanted to hang out, where I swear, all the time we spent to get that, where I left, I wanted back. I scan my mind for every moment I forget. Okaida Bantam at night, when you laughed till tears, this one had, do anything for just one hug, lost, dear God, this one part, yeah, you get wrong, clear off sight. Please bring him back. I'm shedding tears for the immigrant. I cream to a yashimi pa, palm wine and ginger blues. The be will be timing can. Tears for Nana say, that you not make a sem. Tears for Nana say, that you be make a sem. Everything, everything I create has a reason behind it being created. Most of the time it is not 
because of people. I hardly. But it's because of you, it's not because of that, you know. Yes. Intriguing. Yeah. Because of, because of you. Yes. But you, you've heard the type of music that I make, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going through something, I've made the music, it makes me feel better. Yeah. Then after that, we are thinking about how to sell it to people. Before I put Dia out, I made Dia, I had Dia like maybe six years before I put it out. I made Survivor's Girl because my friend died and I made it. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Do you understand? But after it is done, it's like, oh, okay, will people oh, yeah. like this? To, to, to it, yeah. You understand how huh? people like this? And then now we go back. But whilst I am making it, I don't consider, I, it's not like, oh, it's very, very few songs. Like, okay, this song, it will work on radio. Uh -huh. But most of the songs, I just yeah, made it because, yeah. I just made it because I wanted to make it. <laughs> I've, I've always recorded myself, like, to this day I still record myself. So for most of my brothers, I'm at home recording myself, sending, you know, music over the internet to people that I want to feature, so they also record themselves and send to me. Where we collaborate the most is usually during the mixing phase, but even with this one, I wasn't really in the building for most of the mixing. My creative director, Evans, and my mixing engineer at the time, uh, Sammy Cube, they handle all of that. They'll send stuff to me and then I'll tell them what I like, what I don't like. Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges that we maybe faced during that time was waiting for features, you know? You get an idea, you execute it yourself, but then other people also need to be able to tap into the energy that you've sent them. Even so the song sounds like it needs them. They need to be in that same zone, in that same mood, tap into that same energy before they can give you what you want. So I think that must have been the most challenging thing. And maybe uh, cutting certain songs off the project. Yeah, because as of now, I only hear beats. They don't let you grow, thinking I'm a dead beat. Yeah. One of the things I always say is, or uh, one of my regrets from the album is the fact that the visuals that I accompanied it were not as top-notch as the project itself. But that happened because we were not expecting you guys to like it that much. Do you understand? Like, we, we didn't know. We should have known, but we didn't know. We, we had just made something that we liked, and then we were like... If you look at the visuals for pen and paper... Yeah, yes. More, yes. Yes, more thoughts went into that. Because, because pen and paper is one of those albums... Pen and paper is maybe the... Yeah, even that crap. It is still one of my, one of the few projects I have done where the consumer was in my mind. But even that crap, and it wasn't in my mind like would they like this? But it's like we wanted to make we wanted to make something for for people that love hip hop. Because I thought they'd be at me cry, I feel the same way. Boss, it's like an eight way toss, we know they face great odds. I wonder how we still they smile when every day make hard. You're changing tactics. The whole for my brother's album is, is, is my relationship with my father. Sort of. The whole, like, the whole album is no, one. The relationship itself was Yeah, yeah, we, we, we did not have a relationship. Oh, you did not? Yeah. That is, that is the whole thing. 
We did not have a relationship. The relationship with your dad is that you did not have a relationship. Yeah, we did not have a relationship. And he also did not have a relationship with his dad. Yeah, so for my brothers, it's literally like me trying to break that chain by being conscious of the things that happened to him that he did to me so that I do not do it to my children. Yeah, and then it kind of like just talked about everything else. They didn't start telling you. I mean, so I'm I am a tycoon for four days. See, by the end of the show, right? They will still come say, and say that no, they didn't start telling no. That one. Listen, yeah. by the end of the yeah. show, right? Mm. If anybody even has any emotions left to say they didn't start telling yeah, yeah, Let me. Oh, dear, sorry. Oh, dear, sorry. <laughs> the yeah. first verse of Loser was from another song called Fan Mail Interlude. That was supposed to be about just what different sections of my fans usually say when I'm... So when I make something that they feel like goes for a certain section, another section will say, oh, yeah, like that's yeah. And then I just took that, took that from there and then I brought it to uh, Loser and then we went in a way that, yeah. I think I did that and then I did the second verse and then uh, Kaf was like, we needed another vest where I am. Um, we need another vest where, like, instead of I am a loser, it's like you're a loser. And then I, I was like, I, I thought about the relationship and I was like, okay. Then we talked about that. Uh, sure. Thank you. Reynolds is a musical director. The concepts are actually events and then Reynolds interprets it musically. And he's been, like, he's been so crucial to the whole process. Vulnerability and honesty are two of the things that I admire most about uh, most of the rappers or musicians that I am, you know, artists in general that I am fascinated by, that I am big fans of. So it's the same when I am also making music. Uh, we didn't expect that it would be received in the way that it was received, but people seemed to really, 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 really love the album. And I remember the, the first moment that I knew that this was going to be something special was, I think, just the same day that it dropped, uh, you know, it goes online at 12 a.m. When I woke up in the morning around 8, I had uh, a DM on Instagram from, you know, somebody. It even went into my request because I didn't follow the person, I didn't know this person. A long DM where he was just telling me, how timely this project was for him because he was having difficulties and he was having suicidal thoughts and you know just hearing some of these things knowing that he's not alone has him reconsidering you know everything has him really looking at everything different because all the new here look no like almost fix it laptop no i'll say about loop from laptop no i'm almost the normal you should look into that person yeah yeah no uh huh all the names what's it could you soon, uh, so uh, five minutes away. Yeah. Uh, Derek, come here, quick. Yeah. It's working now. Okay. Oh, wait, me, me, no, simple. And now you hear me at the moment. See you, let me go to you. You see, what must I say? Who to trust? I know I must don't rush me. What must I say? Yeah, na I say me for me, for me, to you, na me, na me, na me, for me, to Family only, and um, I need the space. Bro, you see? 
Asen ya minti yu na mi bu echi ye inti wa Prior to Musabe Khan being made, we had already collaborated on children for me. Yeah, so the synergy was already there, the, you know, we are friends, friends, you know. So he sent over the beat, I didn't even know it was produced by Shaker. And he sent the beat and he was like, if I have any vibe, you know, to the beat, he would like to hear it. So, I don't know. I don't know how exactly it, it happened, but I think I used my life, you know, as a starting point to write the song as I usually do. So humming, 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 and then I put together lyrics, and then we go on the I sent it over to him. He liked it, put the verses on it, sent it back to me, and then I did ad libs um, under his under his verses. Yeah, and then the whole song. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Ah, Matthew, it's a Miss Abomusio. If you are watching, then Daniel, my Abusian, and you are what you are, and you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will never feel to me as it feels to all the rest of you. Because when I'm listening to it, I'm listening, I'm hearing things that I wish I would have changed. Yeah, like, ah, this place, like, ah, whatever. Plus, also, it has, by the time you hear it, it has served its purpose for me. I have released all the emotions or whatever that I needed to release. So by the time you heard it, I was done and I was going through different things and making different songs. So this is where we need to figure out, are you leaving for one subject or because if you're not doing the wig thing again, there's, then there's no really need no need for you, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So then I think we can, we can, I can stay, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, but anyway, his his thing is long. Is what? what are you doing? Is what the intro is long. Then his intro is long. Which AC? Which intro is long? The intro to Unsabakan's. You know, there's a guitar yeah, yeah, yeah. thing before that. But actual. I think we do Unsabakan before he does his own. Yeah, but I'm saying just where would you, what would you be doing? Well, during that intro, all of that is happening, and then oh, he's that there, what you'll be doing there. No, just you, once you interact with the crowd, you know, you know sometimes that can be awkward. No, like for the, visuals, or ah, uh, yeah, for visuals. Yeah. The other artist just he, he just he just no, yeah, yeah, just the so like. I don't it's know. one of the it's one of those ones where I just I just find like a nice pose and just be there. Okay, you know, okay. yeah. Okay. okay. I like jump, so yeah. that's what we can. Oh, I can, oh, I can still walk. I mean, we we have the stairs over here. Mm -hmm. Or oh, I can still walk off. Mm -hmm. I can still walk off and walk back on. Okay, we'll test it tomorrow. We'll test very it. shortly, yeah, okay. very shortly. Okay, um, yeah, Charlie, I don't see any, yeah. Yeah, that's all if you just jump. Yeah, we just jump and yeah. I leave him. Then you leave him. Yeah. Then when he's done, then okay. we go to the first Myers snippet. Okay. So we talk about yeah, okay, that's another thing. Because we didn't do it all the yeah. I'll, I'll figure we'll it out. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Um, so that happens and then Lights fade. Then Muddy Story. Okay. Yeah. Muddy story, you said somebody's doing it. Does that still happen? Yeah, it still happens. That's so happening. I'm only sorry, I'm sitting on the bench. Sitting yeah, on the bench. Okay. The focus is not on you. Okay. Yeah, Maddie's story. We have spotlights on the interpretive dance happening. Okay. And then we have Maddie visuals in the so, back. So, what? Am I still in the middle of the bench? Yes. And then they are in front of me? Yes. You're just a storyteller for this. Uh, so, you just sit down. Tell the story. Eh? I will go next. Because we need everyone to come out, so. Time catch already. Mm, it's seven. Very interesting because I wasn't managing Q you when the album dropped, but I was kind of aware of what was happening. But the challenges were that they couldn't do it because of COVID. And when COVID happened, it disrupted a lot of things. But also, Kujuki had some personal things going on as well. So even after the COVID subsided, we couldn't really do anything in the subsequent years. And it sort of felt like it had lost steam. 
so he moved on to another project and did that project, but um, went on a break again after the EP. And last year, he reached out to me that, yo, I'm coming back strong. And I have identified you as one of the people who can really take my stuff to the next level. And these are the things I want to do. And so when we started chatting, when we, before we started working, I was doing some research and I saw that for my brothers was like a really strong brand element for Kojo Q. So I was like, we really have to do this concert. And he was like, yeah, he, that's the thing. One thing that he feels like his fans want. And so we decided to do it. And we've been planning for about a year now, on and off, but we're here. Yeah, Charlie, after four long and hard years, we're finally here. Like, uh, we've had a few starts and stops. So for me, I'm super, I'm super grateful that we get to do this. And no, there wasn't any moment where I felt like, you know, it was, it was one thing that people kept asking for. It was the thing I knew I had to do. Uh, it was just trying to figure out the best time to do it when resources and, you know, everything falls into place. But I always knew that even if I, I, I went on to do a million albums and a million things, the concert is something that needed to happen for people to have closure on the project. So I'm happy that we are here today. for this concert. Um, my favorite song on the album, Survivor's Guilt. And then um, it's so personal for me, because um, I look at where I'm from, where I, where I grew up, look at like my mates, and then like the life they're living and stuff. Bro, it hits me. Like, Q actually wrote this from my perspective, that kind of thing. This concert actually meant like everything, everything to me, bro. It's been it's been four years since he dropped the thing, and we've been wanting like for him to, to, to organize a concert, and we are happy to finally find better ways. We can't jump, like it's been exciting. So it's a ten over ten for me. Which ten over ten. Which that for that. Thank you, thank you. The way we came for the rehearsal, we spoke about some expectations, you're going to cry and all that. I think we did see that. Yeah, yeah. it was the... Uh, that particular song and who I was doing it for. Because even in the studio, you know, when I, when I started or I tried to do the rehearsal, I was just starting stuff. So I knew. But I almost, I was able to almost get through half of it before it happened. Yeah. Yeah, but Charlie, I had to do it for my brother. The show has been able to encapsulate everything you hope FMB will be. Um, I, I hope people feel that way about it. Um, definitely this is the first edition. So every time we meet again, we are going to find new ways to make it, you know, even more exciting. So this has been great, but the next will definitely be greater. <laughs> Yo, know, as a fan, I feel I me. I'm okay. I'm. I think I'm ready to move on uh -huh. from. So the next one. And like, you know, enjoy uh -huh. the new Kojo. Yeah. You know, I think I've, I've been stuck on it for long. Yeah. And I also feel for the past four years, we've had to go around explaining FMB. So uh -huh. I feel this is it. This is it. This, this, this has shown everything. Yeah. This is it. You know, I'm, I'm really happy we had a chance to do this, and this is from a fan. You know, yeah. I'm a big fan yeah. of you, and I'm glad you gave me the opportunity to actually. Uh, Oh. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Just Fuck out of here. Yo, I know, you they pass your artist in back, you they ask you where's Q. 
Hey, 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 Bro, you can help me. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Challenge. Take too much of your time. Yeah. But yeah, you should go and get yeah, thank you. Trip. Thank you for hanging out with me <laughs> during the, these yeah. past three or four days. Yes. yes. I appreciate yes. it so much. Man, I saw you were singing your. I want to sing that to like, bro. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I love my voice, but it's worth it. Yeah. Good, good. yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm here. Yo, so every day we did. Still we the right door. Yeah, one crown of my main pipe ball. Then we try break you down to take you down. So always protect your cycle. We fight you.